Chapter 548 The Spiritual Force Implants. That was the reason why the Soul Engineer Legion's commander vehemently denied the Master of Heavenly Sea City's request. Even though he was the commander of the Soul Engineer Legion that wasn't up to standards, he could hold his own against the Master of Heavenly Sea City, who was a count. Soul Engineers had the highest status within the Sun Moon Empire. They were on high alert and preparing themselves, but could they really stay safe? Who are you? was standing on the shore less than five kilometers from Heavenly Sea City. He gazed in the direction of the city's harbor as he couldn't help but admire it. What an excellent harbor. The land that Heavenly Sea City has been built on is relatively elevated, but the ground around them slopes downward. They can build a harbor near the ocean and look over it comfortably from Heavenly Sea City. The harbor has trade coming in from both sides of the city. What a fantastic place. Tang Wutong rolled her eyes. Are you crying crocodile tears? Are you not going to attack them after praising their magnificent harbor? Who are you? Are replied casually. Praising and admiring it is one thing. Attacking and destroying it is another. It's not my fault that this empire's ruler has insisted on starting a war and invading our country. Why do I have to be the villain here if not for that fact? Tang Wutong said, Heavenly Sea City is on high alert, and they are sufficiently prepared. They are more well equipped than Eastern Sun City was. This may not be easy. Who are you? Are smiled faintly and said, Nothing is impossible. Heavenly Sea City's defense capabilities are better than Easter Sun City's defenses, but its weakness is also very obvious. Their soul tall front isn't inside the city, so what does that mean? That means their linked defensive formations can't effectively defend the city. Why do we have to do things the hard way? Who are you? I grabbed Tang Wutong's hand as he spoke and disappeared into the air. Darkness covered the skies, and that was good news for Heavenly Sea City soldiers. Heavenly Sea City was a developed commercial city, and it was also where an important military harbor was located, and their armies were of a high quality. The southern regions were flourishing and bustling, and life was peaceful. Soldiers were treated extremely well from day to day, and there were rarely days when they were especially exhausted. Ever since the recent appearance of that mysterious enemy who had broken through twelve cities and pillaged them, Heavenly Sea City's atmosphere had become extremely tense and nervous. Heavenly Sea City was one of the largest cities along the Sun Moon Empire's southern shore. There were docks and battleships, and it was rich with resources. Those twelve cities were wealthy. But there was still quite a gap between them and Heavenly Sea City. That was the reason why Radiant City had sent a strict order that Heavenly Sea City had to be defended. They were to relay any information as soon as they obtained any. Heavenly Sea City had also become one of the cities along the Empire's southern shores, which was most likely to be attacked. The City Defense Army became vigilant for that very reason. They increased their daily patrols, and their inspection process for merchants and civilians coming and going also became much tighter. Every single individual entering the city had to go through both soul power detectors and spiritual power detectors. They would have to go through more interrogation and investigation if they were found to be soul masters. The city hustled for a day, and the sun was finally setting as it went down towards the west. Their tense and busy day was about to end. The city's thick gates were slowly shut, and that meant the City Defense Army could finally get to rest. The sky gradually turned dark. On some planes five kilometers from Heavenly Sea City, light began to bend and contort. Aerial surveillance soul tools couldn't discover such fine details by looking down from above. As for isolation detectors that conducted searches closer to the ground, they would only be activated once those aerial surveillance soul tools discovered something. Naturally, they wouldn't be scouring this area. Shadows and figures popped out one after another under the cover of those contouring light rays. As nine large pitch black doors opened up at the same time, Huo Yuao was standing in front of these nine doors, and those contouring light rays were a result of his spiritual interference domain. His domain strength allowed him to cover a thousand square meters. That was sufficient to cover the nine large doors, which were his spectral gates. Huo Yuao wouldn't have been able to achieve this before. First, his spiritual interference domain wasn't that strong, and it was hard for him to cover himself if he had to use this domain and necromancy at the same time. His domain's area of effect was also much smaller before. Huo Yuao's spiritual power had undergone a qualitative change once more after he fused with the mermaid princess. Now, his spiritual interference domain had truly matured into an extremely powerful domain type ability. Furthermore, a thousand square meters wasn't his limit. What he was doing with his domain's formidable interference capabilities was equivalent to rendering everything within this area invisible. Even though spiritual interference domain still left traces and wasn't as intricate and fine as imitation, it had a range and area of effects that imitation couldn't match up to at all. Two hundred armed soldiers from the Tang Sect's Soul Engineer Legion stepped out soundlessly from those spectral gates under the cover of his spiritual interference domain. Nobody made a sound, and they immediately formed up with guidance from Huo Yuao's spiritual detection after they appeared and waited quietly. Huo Yuao looked up at the sky, and the corner of his mouth curved into a faint smile. The others from Shrek's Seven Monsters had stepped out from those spectral gates one after another, along with the rest of the Tang Sect's stronger individuals. Second senior brother. Who are you out knowledge DK2? DK2 chuckled. He shook his hands, and a series of metal clanging sounds could be heard as a heavy cannon appeared on each of his shoulders. He raised those cannons and pointed them towards the sky. Faint golden light flickered in Who are you out's eyes. Boom, 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 boom. A series of dull booming sounds could be heard as black cannon shells were fired one after another. They couldn't be told apart from the darkness because the sky had already turned dark, and not even aerial surveillance soul tools could identify them. Fireworks exploded through the sky after several seconds as the eyes above Heavenly Sea City were shattered. Bei Bei waved his hand and shouted, Move out. The Tang Sex Soul Engineer Legion surged into the sky at the same time. They opened their flying type soul tools behind their backs as they flew towards Heavenly Sea City. Heavenly Sea City no longer had any eyes in the sky to monitor the situation, so nobody could possibly know where this Soul Engineer Legion had come from. Those aerial surveillance soul tools that were detonated triggered the alarm, but so what? Heavenly Sea City's soul tool front was on the other side of the city. Several minutes later, the Tang Sex Soul Engineer Legion, which was spaced out in a horizontal single file, appeared outside Heavenly Sea City. They didn't stop at all as they immediately assaulted Heavenly Sea City's thick city walls. More accurately put, they were bombarding the city's walls with everything they had. A class 5 high powered soul cannon had enough strength to blow a hole more than 10 meters wide and 3 meters deep in those big city walls. What about 200 class 5 high powered cannons? Two rounds. Only two rounds of bombardment were required before Heavenly Sea City's northern city walls had become a pile of rubble. Enter the city. Bei Bei gave the order as the Tang Sex Soul Engineer Legion's soul engineers immediately charged into the city. Huo Yuao's spiritual detection guided them straight to the city's warehouses. Huo Yuao commanded the Soul Engineer Legion while locking onto the city's soul tool front, which was outside the city. At the same time, there was no way the soul tool front wasn't aware of the tremendous disturbance on this side. However, they no longer had their aerial surveillance soul tools in the sky. So what if they had a soul tool front? They were blind. Did they dare to bombard their own city to deal with their enemies? That wasn't a possibility at all. The Soul Tool Front couldn't defend the city, so Huo Yuao would just let it defend the harbor. The master of Heavenly Sea City had just gone to sleep before he was jolted awake by deafening booming sounds. He had just gotten dressed when the reports came in. The northern city wall had been broken through, and their enemies had appeared. There were at least 200 Soul Engineers, and they had already charged into the city, where they were going straight for the city's warehouses. Heavenly Sea City had lost contact with all their aerial surveillance Soul Tools. They were likely to have been damaged or destroyed, judging from the explosions in the sky. The Sun Moon Empire had put in a lot of effort to improve their aerial surveillance Soul Tools cover. However, any cover was futile against Huo Yuao's otherworldly spiritual detection. Quick, request aid from the Soul Engineer Legions. The master of the city could only make that one exclamation. The messenger swiftly departed as the city master sat back down on his bed. His eyes had become a little vacant. Why? Why didn't we discover any
Hudson quickly before retreating at once without any delay. Who are you, Al's aim was to pillage the city. Destroying the Soul Tool front outside the city would of course be fantastic. He would very much rather the Soul Tool front Soul Engineers come to rescue the city. No matter how advanced or formidable the Sun Moon Empire's Soul Tools were, everything would be futile if only Class 3 Soul Engineers were using them. Both legions had the same number of people. One side was filled with Class 3 Soul Engineers, while the other was filled with Class 6 Soul Engineers, and it wasn't hard to imagine what the outcome would be if both sides clashed. Therefore, who are you, Al was hoping for the Sun Moon Empire's Soul Engineers to get aggressive and charge out from their turtle shell. He was hoping they would charge into the city and fight with him. If they dared to come, who are you, Al and the others would probably annihilate those 200 Soul Engineers with several mass attacks. They would probably destroy the harbor outside at the same time. Unfortunately, whether it was because the Sun Moon Empire's Soul Engineers were smart or cowardly, they didn't appear on the battlefield in Heavenly Sea City after all. All they did was activate their linked defensive formations to the highest possible level. Heavenly Sea City was a large city, and the pillaging continued until daybreak the next day. When the Tang Sexol Engineer Legion's 200 people who were like kings of the night retreated, Heavenly Sea City had descended into utter chaos. Who are you? I didn't know before he came that there was an underwater mine in the ocean close to Heavenly Sea City, and it produced a kind of rare metal known as Deep Sea Silver. This rare metal was extremely valuable, and it was an excellent material for forging stationary soul cannon shells. This metal was very tough, and it was most suitable for constructing long range stationary soul cannon shells. Who are you? I found a warehouse in Heavenly Sea City that was half filled with these things, and he packed them into his spectral demi -flame. As for other resources and money, how much did they actually pillage? Who are you? I wasn't sure himself. He opened a spectral gate inside Heavenly Sea City's warehouses and flew away dramatically after popping everything. The soul tool front outside Heavenly Sea City didn't attack at all from the beginning to the end, and the pillaging was now complete. Who are you? I left the city and stopped at a place that was relatively far away. There were no aerial surveillance soul tools in this place, and he wasn't afraid of being discovered at all. A spectral gate opened as the Tang Sex Soul Engineer Legion's 200 members returned to their spectral demi -flame as quickly as they could. Who are you? I didn't go back. Instead, he remained outside and found a relatively obscure place before he went into hiding by himself. He didn't even bring Tang Wutong this time. They had pillaged 13 southern cities continuously, and the Sun Moon Empire's southern shores were in complete disarray. That was sufficient for now. What you had to do next was wait. He had to wait and see if his judgment was correct. The mission at Heavenly Sea City had been delayed by a day compared to the 12 cities which came before. Everything had been smooth and successful, so he had to wait and see if his strategic goal would be realized. Who are you? Al found a small hill and quietly lay down in the thicket. He stared at the blue sky and the rolling white clouds above him, and he felt a certain inexplicable comfort and satisfaction. The most luxurious thing for him was to just sit there and daydream without thinking about anything, and he was enjoying that rare but wonderful moment right now. All kinds of images and pictures flashed before his eyes, and everything that had happened in his life surfaced continuously. He was most unwilling to reminisce about his experiences with Wang Kyuo and Wang Donga, but those memories appeared uncontrollably in his mind. Kyuo, are you truly part of Wutong? Wutong isn't just Donga. I can sense your presence in her. If that's the case, then that's just fantastic. There were several important women in Huo Yuo's life. His mother was most important to him when he was a child, and his mother's passing dealt a heavy blow to him. The most fortunate thing that had ever happened to him was when he had met Wang Donga, and being together with her gradually made him forget about his hatred and resentment, and helped him find peace. That was the reason why he could accomplish what he had today. What about Kyuo? She's still an integral part of my life that I can't live without. Kiwa has taught me many things, and I didn't accept her love from the beginning to the end. Even so, she had always been quietly giving and giving. Soul beasts have feelings too. The person that I have let down the most is Kiwa. What will the continent be like in the future? Who are you? Al felt a little lost in his heart. Their plan was probably their last chance, and if they couldn't achieve their goal, the Duluo continent's three native empires would be in danger. The Sun Moon Empire's soul tools were too strong. Unless Who are you? Al could destroy the entire empire, the Duluo continent's three empires would be swallowed sooner or later. It seemed impossible for them to close the gap in soul tool technology for now. The gap was too great. The Sun Moon Empire's royalty had been holding back for so long, and they probably had sufficient strength long ago. But they were always just suppressing themselves. Who are you? Al had fought the Sun Moon Empire's soul engineer legions. He had to say that even though the Tangsex soul engineer legion consisted entirely of soul emperors. They had no chance of victory if they had to fight against one of the five legions from the Sun Moon Empire's hand that protects the nation. If both sides had equal numbers, this wasn't just because of the gap in their technology, it was also because of the discrepancy in the Soul Engineer's understanding of Soul Tools. Furthermore, the Sun Moon Empire still had Juzi. Juzi's talent at commanding on the battlefield was extraordinary. She was still holding back a little when she faced him. But what about the Duluo Continent's three empires? How powerful could she be if she unleashed her full potential? Who are you? I could still vividly remember when the Ningdo Mountain Range was first broken through. Who would have thought that that event was just a diversion? The Sun Moon Empire's armies were powerful, and they had an intelligent commander. The Sun Moon Empire was practically invincible on the continent. The truth was, there wasn't much that could hold their own against them in direct battle. Everything will be futile if we don't destroy the Sun Moon Empire's main forces. The Sun Moon Empire's surveillance Soul Tools haven't been able to detect me, but after suffering huge Losses. They probably won't need too long to come up with a soul tool that can find me, considering how advanced their technology is. What I can do now is delay things as much as possible and prolong the time that the Sun Moon Empire needs to sweep over the entire continent. A bitter expression appeared on Huo Yuo's face as his thoughts stopped there. He was starting to understand the Heavenly Sun Duluo, who he had participated in the same mission with. Those titled Duluo were undoubtedly very proud and arrogant. How could they make a move against an infant unless they really had no other choice? They clearly didn't try to stop Huo Yuo and Tang Wutong with their full strength when the two of them were breaking out. Huo Yuo was still very confident in his own abilities before he ventured to the IC. But after that expedition, he understood that titled Duluo were just titled Duluo, while transcendent Duluo were just transcendent Duluo. Back at the Mingdo Mountain Range when he was breaking out with Tang Wutong, more of why he was successful was because those titled Duluo and transcendent Duluo didn't work together to attack him and Tang Wutong. Otherwise, it would have been almost impossible for them to leave. Before, a single ultimate duo could intimidate and threaten an entire country. Following the development of soul tool technology, personal fighting strength was waning continuously. Many soul masters still didn't properly understand that fact. At least, the Holy Ghost Church hadn't grasped that reality yet. Back when Huo Yuao had encountered the Holy Ghost Church for the first time, he didn't understand why the Sun Moon Empire would work with such an evil sect. Those evil soul masters were so cruel and evil, and their existence would undoubtedly bring calamity to all life. What would the Sun Moon Empire be like if the Holy Ghost Church held power in the end? But as he continued to fight the Sun Moon Empire, Huo Yuao witnessed more and more of their truly formidable soul tool technology. He gradually understood that the Holy Ghost Church was just one of the Sun Moon Empire's chess pieces. Two ultimate duo were extremely powerful, but how would they fare against the Soul Engineer Legion's linked soul tools? Would they still emerge victorious? Whether the Holy Ghost Church wanted to not, and even if they were sufficiently prepared, could they really threaten Shu Tianran's rule? Shu Tianran was a terrifying figure. The deep seated and hidden strength of the Sun Moon Empire's royal family was even more frightening. Only places like the Royal Palace and the Worship Hall were considered the Sun Moon Empire's true core. The Sun Moon Empire had made sufficient use of the Holy Ghost Church, and they were making use of them to fight the Duluo Continent's soul masters. When the continent was truly united under one 
for everything, and rename it the Sun Moon Continent. No, absolutely not. The Duluo Continent will be the Duluo Continent, and I am part of the Duluo Continent. I cannot let that happen no matter what price I have to pay. Who are you? I took a deep breath as his thoughts stopped there. He gathered his mind once more, and his spiritual power transformed into countless tentacles as they stretched across the ground in all directions. Of course, he wasn't lying here to rest. He was waiting, and he was hoping that the Sun Moon Empire's main forces were here. Heavenly Sea City was the Sun Moon Empire's most important coastal city in the south. Furthermore, this place was very far from Radiant City. Once the Sun Moon Empire's main forces appeared, the next part of his plan could continue. If his plan was successful in the end, he could see some hope for the Duluo Continent. The thing that Huo Yuao hoped for most was what the body Duluo had sacrificed himself to achieve, and that was to kill Shu Tianran. Shu Tianran was a ruthless and ambitious character, and Huo Yuao still felt a little fearful towards him. He didn't know why he felt like that, but he was certain that the Sun Moon Empire would fall into disarray if he died. The Duluo Continent could at least catch their breath if that happened. As for Juzi, even though she was formidable commander, Huo Yuao never treated her like an enemy in his heart for some reason. Huo Yuao was aware of this problem. He knew that the reason why he couldn't become a commander of an army like Juzi was because his heart was too soft. Hey. Huo Yuao was still contemplating as he released his spiritual power, but a strange feeling suddenly appeared in his spiritual sea. This sensation was very unique. He realized to his shock that there were countless faint spiritual undulations within his spiritual detection's range. They were fearful and afraid. They were trying to dodge away, but couldn't run away at all. Every spiritual undulation was extremely fine and delicate, and a single thought from Huo Yuao could destroy them. But this was the first time Huo Yuao had felt so many instances of his spiritual power at the same time. This was his first experience after his spiritual power had completely entered a very detailed and intricate level. These faint spiritual tentacles didn't come from his enemies or from a formidable individual. They came from the plants that were growing in the earth. These plants ranged from a small blade of blue grass to a large tree that was several dozen meters tall. Every plant possessed its own spiritual power. Some were strong, while others were weak, but they were mostly weak and frail. They were evidently feeling frightened because they could feel Huo Yuao's powerful spiritual power. That feeling was just too strange. Huo Yuao discovered for the first time that plants had spiritual power. Even the small blue grass was no exception. That feeling was just too magical. Huo Yuao subconsciously expressed his friendliness while he made his spiritual power gentler as he stretched it out even further. His friendliness was instantly returned. Those frightened and fearful spiritual tentacles immediately stopped trembling and conveyed excited and happy thoughts to Huo Yuao. Their thoughts and minds were so simple, but Huo Yuao's heart was still filled with happiness and satisfaction in this moment. A single spiritual tentacle didn't count for anything. But when thousands and millions of spiritual tentacles were conveying their happiness, how could you not be happy? Huo Yuao was like that, and so he was happy and elated that the friendliness he had released was immediately returned. Furthermore, those strange spiritual tentacles were fusing with his spiritual power to the point where his spiritual detection could vividly sense the intricate changes that were happening to these plants. That sense was extremely strange and unique. Like Huo Yuao had become the leader of all the plants within five kilometers around him, and his minions and subordinates were reporting their feelings to him. The plant's spiritual tentacles amplified him, and Huo Yuao was consuming less and less spiritual power from using spiritual detection. Furthermore, the more spiritual tentacles that returned his friendliness there were, the less spiritual power he consumed. That's so magical. Spiritual power can actually be used this way. Huo Yuao finally understood how, during his previous encounter, so many aquatic soul beasts could be linked together. That was especially so for the Merfolk's martial soul combination skills. The reason why they could complete their martial soul combination skill probably wasn't because their blood and descent were very similar, but because their spiritual power was extremely well connected. Huo Yuao seemed to have grasped some of the spiritual world's profundities. He no longer held back as he pushed his spiritual detection outward as much as he could, and the benevolence in his heart increased continuously. He felt the feedback that those plants were giving him, and he expressed his love for them at the same time. Huo Yuao's spiritual detection was unwittingly extended very far, and his spiritual power gradually reached its limit. But Huo Yuao was completely stunned at this point. Yes, he was astonished. He realized to his intense shock that his spiritual power's range could reach more than 50,000 meters in diameter. Huo Yuao's spiritual detection normally had a limit of 20, meters. That was already a stunning figure, but that figure now stood at 50,000 meters. Even though this diameter was calculated with his body at the center, and it couldn't be used in a single direction, he had already surpassed everything in history and created another miracle. Huo Yuao believed that not even Ultimate Duo could stretch their spiritual power across 50 kilometers. A diameter of 50,000 meters meant a diameter of 50 kilometers. What an extraordinarily vast area of effect. Not only was Heavenly Sea City within his senses, but several other cities were also within range of his senses as well. Furthermore, his spiritual detection worked differently this time. It didn't project everything into his mind three-dimensionally. After reaching 50,000 kilometers, everything in Huo Yuao's vision came from the plants that were cooperating with him. He was viewing the world through their feelings and vision, but that was already sufficient. Even though spiritual detection like that wasn't as complete as his three-dimensional spiritual detection was, conducting investigations through those plants spiritual undulations was a lot more discreet. What kind of spiritual detectives would conduct investigations against a plant's spiritual power? A plant's spiritual power was too weak. It was entirely negligible. Huo Yuao had unwittingly discovered such a mystical ability. How could he not be happy? Furthermore, he could obtain some simple information from these plants. Even though that information wasn't much, it was direct and easy to understand. Huo Yuao relaxed as he felt his spiritual power extend outwards. He was like the king of all the plants within his spiritual detection, and all the plants around him were reporting their thoughts and feelings to him. A plant's thoughts were very simple. If you expressed your benevolence to them, they would express their friendliness to you. Furthermore, Huo Yuao's spiritual power was extremely strong. There were some plant-type soul beasts within his spiritual detection, but most plant-type soul beasts were extremely weak. Their subordination to Huo Yuao was even more complete because they could sense exactly how formidable his spiritual power was. Suddenly, a thought to Huo Yuao, he asked a question with his spiritual detection and used his consciousness to reach all the plants within his spiritual powers range. What Huo Yuao didn't expect was, after several minutes, a single consciousness that was responding to him appeared in his mind. He was so excited that he jumped to his feet from the thicket he was in. The question he had asked those plants was simple: Have you seen the Blue Silver Emperor, the King of the Blue Silver Grass? Plants understood each other best, and Huo Yuao only had a tiny shred of hope that his question would be answered. But he received a very definite reply after a few short minutes. Yes, he received a definite reply. Tang Yao's body was still very weak and frail, even though ingesting the Kyangan Fortune Pill meant she was no longer deteriorating towards death. Her abilities were completely gone. She even needed to lean on something for support when she walked. How could Huo Yuao be willing to see her like that? He never expected that the Blue Silver Emperor, which he had tried so hard to find within the Duluo Continent's three native empires, to no avail. Would be discovered in the Sun Moon Empire. This was truly an unexpected surprise. Huo Yuao regulated his breathing and tried his best to stabilize his emotions. Afterwards, he expressed benevolence towards that spiritual undulation that was giving him a definite reply, and concentrated his spiritual detection in that direction to search for the living being that was answering him. Huo Yuao was very calm. He knew that he had to be very careful. He knew from how sensitive the plant's spiritual tentacles were that if overly eager emotions appeared in his spiritual undulations, he could very easily be removed from his current state. Establishing a connection once more would probably be extremely difficult. Gentle spiritual undulations that were filled with friendliness traveled soundlessly towards that living being that was giving him a definite reply. Huo Yuao quickly discovered that plant, which had conspicuously stronger spiritual undulations